could feel just fine, but high blood pressure can permanently damage your heart, brain, eyes, and kidneys before you feel anything. Dr. Mark Viegas at CHI St. Vincent Medical Clinic Midtown is joining us today with information. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you. Thank yeah, you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Now tell me, what is hypertension for those who aren't familiar with it? Well, hypertension is pretty much a fancy term for high blood pressure, okay? And uh, high blood pressure is a measurement of the force on the walls of your arteries as your heart pumps blood. Uh, now, a normal blood pressure uh, most of the time is less than 140 over 90, uh, but a good blood pressure is more around 120 over 80. Now, over time, this increased force on the walls of your arteries can damage them. Okay, and so there are a lot of things that cause hypertension. We know that doctors have done a lot of research to try and figure out where this comes from. Where does it come from? What causes it? Well, there are me uh, many medical problems that can cause hypertension. Some of them include chronic kidney disease, any gland problems uh, such as high thyroid levels, mm -hmm. or even obesity. But more often than not, high blood pressure does not have a cause. And um, this is most often the case, and it's called essential hypertension. Now, even though essential hypertension has no cause, there are several risk factors uh, that play a very important role in the development of hypertension. And these risk factors can include obesity. Mm -hmm. uh, the older, older age, the older you are, the more prone you are to getting blood pressure. A uh, high salt diet, uh, for instance. A diet high in salt can mm -hmm. cause fluid retention and cause your blood pressure to go up. Smoking is a big thing. Um, and smoking causes constriction of your blood vessels, which, again, increase the pressure and, and cause high blood pressure. Right. Also, medications such as cold medications, cough medications, and uh, several medications out there can cause it as well. What about family history? If you have a parent, uh, I, like I do, I have a parent that has mm -hmm. high blood pressure. Should I be concerned then about me having high blood pressure? Well, um, now high blood pressure can run in the family, mm -hmm. so there is a genetic component to that as well. It's not all lifestyle. Uh, and uh, you would talk to your doctor about that, and he would take a thorough family history uh, in discussing your blood pressure and um, try to determine how much of that is genetic and how much is lifestyle. Okay, so too much salt, uh, too much alcohol, smoking, right? All of those things. All of those things, yes, even, al even alcohol can. So mm -hmm. when someone has hypertension, what are the symptoms that they experience and how would you even know, okay, I've got high blood pressure or I should even, maybe I don't have it, but I need to go in and see my doctor and see if I have it. Okay, well, uh, here's the thing. Uh, hypertension is known as the silent killer because it doesn't have any symptoms until it's too late. So most people with high blood pressure are asymptomatic. They don't have any symptoms and they don't know they even have it. Oh, wow. So this is why it's important for you to go to your regularly scheduled annual physical exams where they will check your blood pressure during every clinic visit and uh, determine if you have it or not. Now, high blood pressure, like I said before, is a measure of the force on mm -hmm. the walls of your arteries. So over time, this force can thin out these walls and then cause them to bulge. And this bulge is called, is called an aneurysm. And sometimes these aneurysms can rupture, uh, which can prove to be fatal. Now, your heart has a difficult time. Your heart is a pump. So it has a difficult time pumping the blood against all this extra pressure in your arteries. So over time, your heart thickens. And uh, this can further cause heart damage. And this is known as heart failure. So heart failure is often caused by high blood pressure as well. Now this um, high blood pressure also damages the tiny little blood vessels in your kidneys and can cause chronic kidney disease or can, or can even worsen existing kidney disease. So a lot of things that can happen if you do let this go. And as we're wrapping up here, can you kind of talk mm -hmm. a little bit about how we treat this once you mm -hmm. find out you do have sure. high blood pressure? Now there are many medications used to treat high blood pressure and your doctor will have to find the right one for you depending on what other medical problems you may have. But there are also many lifestyle changes that you can make. You know, like I said before, uh, stop smoking mm -hmm. or, or don't start if you're if you not smoking. Uh, have a diet low in, low in salt. 
that would really help you bring your blood pressure down. And also physical activity, and it is recommended that you get about 150 minutes a week of physical activity. Okay, all good things to know. And Dr. Mm -hmm. Vegas, that is hard because we love salt in the South, don't we? We love to salt our food. Well, we sure it's do. It's hard to cut it out. We sure do. All right, <laughs> but good things to remember. And if you are interested in having your blood pressure checked or uh, hearing more about this, you can visit Dr. Mark Vegas uh, over on North University.